it's Megan Rose from the Philippines coming to you with another set of tutorial on how to make this cylindrical wallet here so this one has a different design to it so I started another one and this is what I came up with and I'm gonna walk you through on how to make this cylindrical wallets here so the materials that we're gonna use are a pair of scissors to cut the string a nylon monoline string that is this one is a 055 mm or 20 pounds you can also use the 050 mm for this project and then we're gonna need two colors of the acrylic rough beads in 6 mm of the colors of your choice so today i'm gonna use magenta and white just two colors can be enough to make this wallet here and if you want to make it a solid color you can just use one color for it and then afterwards you're gonna need some zippers to put on the wallet so this is how it looks like we're gonna go we're gonna start from bottom to the top and then we're gonna do the the top part separately so that's what we're gonna do today so now we're gonna start with our project starting with the bottom which is a cluster of six the design for this one are some pointed designs so this is what we're gonna do so hold your string so I cut my string for about two meters hold your string so that the first end is on your right hand and the second end is on your left and then we're gonna put some beads on the right string so we're gonna put one, two, three, four, five on our right hand, and we're gonna silik up with a clap. We're gonna silik up with one bead. So silik up is a term we're in. We and in, we insert our right string going to the left or left string going to the right just in one bead we're gonna align both ends and we're gonna slide that one bead so that it will go to the rest of the beads making this cluster of six okay so that is the first round for the second round it has a design to it so this is what we have made so far and now we're gonna make the clusters of six around that first one and this one it already has a design to it so that's what you're gonna do so now we're gonna put two pink beads on the right followed by a white one and then another pink so this is gonna be the start of the design then we're gonna silik up with a pink bead so as to form that first cluster of six for the second round we're gonna take our left string we're gonna insert it to the adjacent bead and here's where we're gonna form another cluster of six so our project should be looking like this so there's gonna be six clusters of six around that first one and for each of them, we're gonna put these white bits here so that we can incorporate the, the pointy parts. So for the next one, we're gonna put pink bead first, followed by a white one, a pink bead, and then we're going to silik up with a pink bead. Okay. 
we're gonna take our left string and then insert that to the adjacent in feed so we can form our third cluster of six here we're gonna also put one pink first followed by a white one a pink bead then we're going to silicop with a pink bead and then we're just going to work on two more of that kind of placement for this for, for the next two and then i'm gonna catch up with you right before we close okay guys so it should be looking like this so we're gonna close our second round so take your left string insert it through that one bead going to the left and also for the next one to it so here is we're gonna put the last cluster of six for the second round put one pink then followed by a white one and then silico with a pink bead so this is how it should look like for the next round we're gonna incorporate a cluster of five in between the designs and this is where it's going to curve so insert your left string going to the left here is where we're gonna put the design so we're gonna put three white beads on the right string and then silico with the white so that is the first lesser of six for round three take your left string insert it to the adjacent one and here these are the uh, side parts here's we're gonna put a cluster of five so we're gonna put two pink beads first and then side up with the white bead then you're just gonna alternate between the cluster of six with the white ones and the cluster of five with the pink so it should like look like this so for this the third cluster insert your string through two adjacent beads form another cluster of six using white Take your left string, insert through one bead, and form another cluster of five. So it's just an alternate between a cluster of five and a cluster of six. Just make sure that the cluster of six has white bits to it and the cluster of five has pink. So we're going to put two beads on the right string. Silico with the pink one. We're just gonna form that around. So 
So what you're gonna do next is to insert it through two adjacent beads. Put two white beads on the right string selicoc with the white one. Insert through one this white one here. Put two pink ones and selicoc with a white one. I'm gonna form that around and I'm gonna catch up with you right before we close. Okay guys, so our project should be looking like this. So those are the white bits and in between there are pink ones that are the cluster of five. So now we're gonna close it. So take your left string, insert it through two adjacent white beads. Here's we're gonna put one pink bead on the right and salico with the pink bead. And we're gonna work on the fourth round with just the tips of the design. So most of the following are gonna be clusters of six from now on. So take your left string. Insert it through this one adjacent white bead. Here we're gonna put three pink beads first. We're gonna say leak up with the white one since that is the tip of the design. has that design to it take your left string insert it through two adjacent beads and we're gonna form another cluster of six so most of the next ones are gonna be clusters of six put two white beads on the right silica up with the pink bead So it should look like this. We're just gonna work on clusters of six. Just make sure that in between these two white ones, there's gonna be a white bead. Or the pink one, a pink bead, a white. So I'm gonna show you once again. Insert your left string through two adjacent beads. Here is we're gonna form with the pointy one. So put two of pink beads on the right. So we cut with the white bead. And that's what you're gonna do for the rest of the foreground. So that is how it should look like. So now you need to form another one like this for the cap part of the cylindrical wallet. So this is uh, what we're doing right now. But you're gonna make a second one. Just like this one. And then set it aside. So that you can use it later for the top part of the wallet. Okay guys, so our project should be looking like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make another one just like this for the top part of the wallet. Just leave the string because uh, we're gonna connect it later. So my suggested string length for the cap part is gonna be 1 meter and half an arm. And I'm hoping that will be enough for the cap part of our wallet. So to continue on with the bottom, take your left string, insert it through three adjacent beads and we're gonna close this fourth ground so put one bead on the right string 
silikap with the pink bead so I'm not going to follow the design I'm just gonna make it just this bottom design here so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna work on five more rounds of plus source of six so we're here now so we're gonna work on one two three four five more rounds of the clusters of six i'm not gonna incorporate this design i'm just gonna make it into plain so i'm gonna show you how to do that since we're here we're gonna insert our left string through that one adjacent bead and we're gonna start the fifth round by putting uh, three beads on the left first and then you're gonna select off with a pink bead so most of the following clusters will be all in pink so that is the start of the fifth round to continue on take your left string insert it through two adjacent beads form another cluster of six by putting two beads on the right and select up with a pink bead and that's what you're gonna do for the rest of the clusters for the fifth round put two beads on the right select up with the cluster with a pink bead insert your left string through two adjacent beads put two beads on the right and then select up with the pink bead all around and i'm gonna catch up with you right before we close okay guys so our project should be looking like this we're gonna close the fifth round one two three four fifth round so this is what we're gonna do for the rest of the following clusters upwards so to close it so to close each round we're gonna insert our string through the three adjacent beads then we're gonna put one bead on the right and select up with the bead and then we're gonna start our next clusters our, our next round by inserting our left string through one adjacent bead and since this is the start we're gonna put three pink beads on the right string and then select up with a pink bead so now you can make the rest of it on your own since i've already shown you how to start and end each round so since we're here just gonna work on the next clusters of six by putting by inserting our left string through two adjacent beads putting two beads on the right and select up with a pink bead and then we're gonna work on that up until we reach our desired height so for this one we're gonna work on it for four more rounds so one two three four so go ahead and work on that and i'm gonna catch up with you um after for the connection of the wallet hi guys i was able to make the top part of the wallet or the cap part so it should look like this and you're gonna leave the string first because we're going to connect it to this bottom part here but before that i'm gonna show you how to uh, close it since the string is short right now i'm gonna show you how to uh, insert it and then we're going to incorporate another set of string so Insert your string through two adjacent beads. Then we're gonna select up with three beads. We're gonna select up through all of the three beads.
We're gonna take our first string and insert it inwards on our wallet. We're gonna insert it for about 3 to 4 inches long. And that's what we're gonna do with the other with the other string. Just insert it like this. Tighten as you go. And then afterwards you can cut our string. Do that to the other one. Hiding the string. And then we're gonna incorporate another set of string. So I have cut another set for about one meter and half an arm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one end, insert it downwards to that next cluster and then here we're gonna make a cluster of six so we're gonna put two beads on the right silica up with a pink bead and since we incorporated another string we're going to level it to the other side just like when we started it so go ahead and make the rest of the bottom part and I'm going to catch up with you with the connection hi guys so I was able to work on the bottom part of our wallet along with the cap part so now I'm gonna show you how to connect both of them together and then we're gonna put this handle part here so what we're gonna do is we're going to connect them with a cluster of six so take your left string insert it through that one adjacent bead so a string should be coming out from this beads here for the other one we're also going to insert our left string through one adjacent bead and then we're going to connect them so take one bead insert it here and then from this other part we're going to insert it this way for the other part Put one bead in between. I'm gonna insert it the other way around. So now we have that connection in between them. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to insert this string here through the middle cluster of six and also for the other one so now we have two strings or four strings coming out from that from that um cluster of six right there so now our strings should be coming out from this from the connection cluster of six so we're gonna take the two strings we're gonna put two on the right two on the left so now we have those two beads we're gonna do is we're going to knot this two times and then leave it for now we're gonna take the 
two top strings. We're gonna put two on the right. Then two on the left. And we're also going to knot it. So now it looks like that. Now what we're gonna do next is gonna take we're gonna take two of the other end. Then we're gonna put about two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm going to insert 10, 10 beads on the two, the two strings, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine and then ten. So we have ten on that string. We take the other two and then we're going to go the other way. We can just use one of them so that it will be easier. I'm gonna go back on all of those 10 beads so that you can create the handle part of the wallet. This is a little bit tricky. And you can also do it another way if you can. So it's just a means of fastening it off. I'm gonna insert that one string to two other beads. So that is how it should look like. So now we're just gonna insert our strings so as to hide it. Then afterwards, we can cut it. And then our project is done. So this is how it looks like. This is another example. You can make your handle in a different way if you can. So that is the end of our tutorial for today. I hope that you enjoyed uh, working on them as much as I enjoy teaching them to you. I will make a separate video on how to put the zipper on the cylindrical wallets. So that is it for now and God bless everyone.